try to have some babies because that would be a first that, yeah. to my knowledge, they've never been bred in captivity. Right. Um, yeah. So these turtles from Palawan, uh, we used to think that there were maybe a thousand, maybe 4,000 in the wild. And then I believe it was 2016, there was actually a confiscation of 3,800 of them at one time. And they were actually found because of the smell. So this is the reality of what happens when somebody discovers where these rare turtles live. That they're not usually long for the world, those individuals that live in that place that humans discover. And for this species, it was that people kind of discovered how to find them. And uh, basically, this is what we're up against, right? And something that we need to know about, especially keepers, you know, if you want to keep turtles, it's not necessarily all conservation. It's not all positive. We have to be real about the what the pet trade and what people wanting rare turtles does to animals in the wild. So, yes, I believe that captive propagation of species is important, but this is a poster child for the slippery slope and the negative side of that. We have to be cognizant and keep that top of mind as we move forward and try to do this the best way that we can.